Hi, Gina. I'm going to try to do your reading for you. I did a Celtic cross. Um, it's a 10-card spread um, with a, with two clarification cards at the end. Um, this reading was kind of hard for me to do. Um, it's hard for me to do readings for family members because it's hard to distinguish what my gut instincts say and what I've actually known about you since I'm you know, closer to family than anybody else. So, um, some of it didn't really make sense to me, but it might make sense to you. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. Now, what I like to do, um, since I'm still learning is what I do is do the spread. I look at the cards, I get my gut instincts, gut feelings out of the cards. And then what I do is go through the tarot books that I have and actually read their actual meanings, um, since I'm still learning. And then what I do is make notes. Very tidy writing, but I make notes and make a maj page of what everything is to me. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and get started. Um, the first card, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Celtic cross or what each card represents in um, each part of the spread. Um, so I kind of just jotted down what um, I thought it could represent and then but it's weird because I, I since I I'm having a hard time connecting to this reading because your family I I kind of I just want to read what I have and then try to relate to how it could relate in the spread. I'm not gonna do it how I normally do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because <laughs> some of it just didn't make sense. Um, so the first card that I pulled for you um, is the Ten of Wands, reversed. Now, ten, uh, the reversed cards have multiple meanings to me. Um, it could literally mean the opposite of what the card means. It could reflect how you should feel or how other people feel. It just depends on how I feel. I don't know how I get my gut feeling off of it. I don't know if you're familiar with um, tarot. Maybe you could actually clarify what that means to you, Your what reverse cards mean. But that's what I get from reverse cards. So the Ten of Wands, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading my notes, and then I'll kind of try to clarify. Um, this is the need to accept and learn boundaries and limitations. You're basically outdoing yourself. Um, going above and beyond, needing to learn how to say no. Um, basically, you're anytime that somebody asks you to do something, or um, you're overspending yourself. Like somebody or people are always asking you for favors, or um, maybe you have so many projects going on right now that you are gonna get like overwhelmed but that's what this card basically means to me um, but the it's not being forced upon you you're not forced to keep doing this this is something that you're willing to you're basically picking up that responsibility on your own no one's forcing you to do it um, like if you look in the picture He's actually holding these sticks like really awkwardly, but he is able to put them down. He just chooses not to. Um, so this might show that you need to distance yourself before you get kind of burned out um, mentally, physically. Um, it shows that you basically you need to put restrictions on um, what you can and can't do and finding the acceptance, accepting that there's there's a time when you just have to say no and kind of, um, not that it's a bad thing, but it's so you don't get overworked, overtired, that sort of thing. And I don't, since this is a general reading, I don't know if it has to do with relationship or family or work or just over in general, like, I don't know if it's just people asking too much of you, or maybe you are doing too much for other people, like, like, I know you're in, in the derby, and maybe you're putting too much effort into that, or maybe it's family members that constantly ask you for things, and it comes to a point where you can only do so much, so that's the first card. The next card is the Nine of Cups. 
The cups are usually feeling cards, I, lots of emotions, um, physical pleasure, satisfaction, getting fulfillment, romance, flowers, wine, appealing to your senses, romantic love, a peak experience. It's not something short lit. It's not something that's like everlasting. That's gonna be happy, um, like for the rest of your life. But it's like in the moment kind of happiness, um, excitement, feelings of emotions, relationships. So, in the reading, this represents as the obstacles that could be in your way, and I don't know if you and Paul are. You guys have been together for so long. I couldn't imagine you guys ever being apart because that's all I've ever known you guys is Gina and Paul. You guys have always been together and I know you guys have been together since what high school. So like, I don't want to say that there's issues in the relationship, but this card talks about romance and meeting not necessarily because I don't picture you as so much as a girly girl, but like every person wants to feel appreciated and wants to feel loved and like not everybody likes touchy feely like affection, but in a relationship that's what you kind of need to make it healthy. And I don't know if that's something that either you or him is lacking, um, but it's talking about your relationship with this card. Okay, so uh, the next card is the Page of Wands reversed again. Okay, so new creative ideas, seeds of inspiration, imagination, strong positive. Okay, so pages are usually messengers. They're messenger cards. Um, da, 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 da. It's talking about when I was when I was looking at it, I I saw the pyramids and the sands, and when I first saw this card, I immediately thought of traveling and that sort of thing. So I don't know if you guys are planning on. I think another card brought up moving too. I don't know if you guys are planning on moving or maybe changing jobs or something, but traveling and change keeps coming up. Um, spark of inspiration, given the right environment and encouragement, things can grow, anything is possible. So. If you continue, it, it's what this card represents to me is what you can expect or your hopes and fears, um, your goal or destiny. So, huh. See, like some of the cards really didn't make sense to me. So maybe they make sense to you. I don't know. So the next card is the Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, it's not reversed. It's regular. Seven of Pentacles, choices and decisions, um, choice between something real and established or trying something new, something familiar or unfamiliar, there's a phase, development, whether to continue or to do something new. Okay, so... So I'm getting a lot of relationship cards, and then, then I know this is a general reading, but my gut instincts say that I know Pentacles is like finances, like all that's basically money. So I don't know if you're trying to better your career. Are you thinking about going back to school for something or changing your position or looking for better opportunities? Um, whether to continue or do something new. Yeah. Huh. Let me know if any of this makes sense because sometimes it's... I feel like I'm just talking to myself and I have no idea where this is going. 
Um, the next card I'm going to try to do. Um, this would be the Six of Wands. Recent past events, attitudes, behavior that affects current situation. Public acclaim, respect for success in the... Success in the eyes of the world, admiration, pride, recognition, high self-esteem, progress, and achievement. Honored by the community. I don't know if you received an award or if shortly you are gonna receive an award, but it talks about that. Maybe a promotion at work or with with Derby. I don't know if you're going to get an award for something or maybe you have had an award. It's basically a feeling of great satisfaction, recognition for your hard work. The next card is the temperance card. Um, okay, so that last one was... Huh. That was the event. Past events and behavior. Blah, 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 blah. I get lost in my notes. Feels like I'm rambling. Okay, so this one, temperance card, is moderation, successful blends, union of opposites, successful partnerships, unifying of opposites, right mix. Okay, so this is the near future or new people or short-term changes. I see that you guys are going to pool. It talks about pooling resources, helping each other. Relationships positively charged by sharing feelings. So here's another relationship card. So I don't know what's really going on with you guys. I know you guys have been together for a really long time. Maybe something has been on the back burner that you guys have kind of put off talking about, but... It's, it keeps bringing that up. So that's... Temperance card is the balance of positive and negative, masculine, feminine, night, day, life, death. So it's just an even balance of everything. And I've, I've known you guys pretty much my whole life. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm your cousin Debbie's daughter. So you are my second cousin and I've known you literally my whole life and my whole life I've known you and Paul together. So I couldn't imagine you guys, like I said, I can't imagine you guys ever being apart and I've never seen you guys fight or anything. So it's funny that it's bringing up more relationship issues. So, um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if this card is saying that that is what your your relationship is like. It's a good, healthy balance. But, it, yeah. If this doesn't make sense, I'm going to have to redo it. Because this, it's going to bug me if it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so the next card is uh, the Knight of Pentacles. This is feelings, actions, or what to do, or your role. Perseverance, attention to detail, closeness. You have a closeness with nature. You know that. <laughs> Prepare to t uh, take things slow. Take time. No sense in hurry. Progress is slow but steady, pur purposeful. Goal will be achieved or realized through hard work. There's going to be a quest or a journey to make ambitions come true, practical, patience, tolerance, perseverance, refusal to give up on project, or you are really dedicated and reliable. Okay, yeah. So, I have a feeling that you are really dedicated to whatever you have going for you like your job your your community that sort of thing and your your relationship you're dedicated and you are willing to put in the hard work necessary to actually do the job basically and you don't want to give up and you're really dedicated in that sort of thing okay so the next card 
is the Knight of Swords. <laughs> so this is environmental factors or relationships, um, how your relationship is with other people, or it could be outside factors coming into the picture, other people affecting your life. Um, upheaval, disruptions, interruptions, excitement, change, prepared, ready for whatever, action, speed, great hurry, chaos, consequences. Okay, so when I was actually pulling this card and I was looking at this card, I immediately thought of theft and someone taking advantage of you or your property. So just a just a heads up on that. Now, I'm I could be way off and it could not possibly be that at all, but I immediately got the thought of somebody either breaking in to your property or somebody literally taking advantage of you. That could be either monetarily or emotionally and like it could be robbing you of your emotions, like taking advantage of your emotions, but I immediately got that gut feeling that somebody is going to take advantage of you. And I don't know if it's malicious or if they're just not consciously aware of what they're doing, but it talks about them doing it in a great hurry or having consequences for their actions. Um, could indicate necessary changes or someone who creates this drive in you to create change um, or create the energy for you to change. Maybe you have issues inside that you, not issues, but some things that you personally want to work on, um, like either emotionally or financially that you, or even with attitude, if you have been saying, oh, okay, I'll do this, or I promise I'll change this about myself, or if you're unhappy about certain aspects of your life that you have been putting off, that there might be a person that comes into your life that actually invokes that motivation to actually change that part of you. Um, but da 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 Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I get... I get good and bad feelings on this card. This is the Six of Cups reversed. And this card usually, like, I get really happy feelings about this card because it's about nostalgia and thinking about happy memories and um, thinking of childhood and this and that. And since yours is reversed, I, I don't, I don't want to say that it's negative, but let me just read my notes. Um, nostalgia, wishes from the past to come to fruitation in the present, memories, wisdom from the past, holding on to memories to guide you. So when I read, when I was reading that and thinking of the card, I immediately thought of everybody that has passed in our family, um, Pudzi, your mom, your dad, and I know you're close with the spirit world and that sort of thing. So I don't know if it's this coming up is indicating that you're having a hard time with somebody's passing or maybe you're just thinking about it more because this is this card in the reading is inner emotions or troubles or secret wishes desires attitudes so I don't know if you are struggling emotionally or coping with the fact that you know so many people close to you have passed on I'm getting emotional thinking about <laughs> thinking about it I'm I hate being so far away from family, but, but yeah, that's what this card talks about is having that nostalgia and just thinking of all the memories growing up and that sort of thing. This is a general reading, so it sounds like you're getting a little bit of <laughs> everything. Um, let's see. Uh, Holding on to memories to guide you. Talking with past loved ones in the spirit for guidance. Um, talks about generations. So generations, when that comes up, is family members. Like, like grandmother, mother, father, daughter. Like generations and family. Um, talks about boys and girls. Talks about brothers and sisters. Now, 
brothers and sisters, I don't know if you're getting along with your brothers right now, but that also came up when I was looking at the card that I don't know if you and David or you and Mark are kind of having a, like a little squabble or disagreement right now, but that's bringing it up. And when I was reading this card, I was just trying to focus on what, you know, all of our family that have passed your mom, your dad, my grandma, your, your grandma, you know, I just, get this feeling that if there is issues in the family like that, they wouldn't want it to be like that. They want you guys to be close like you were growing up. Um, it talks about child serenity and security. Um, also could mean childhood, a childhood friend visiting you or coming up in life like like I've had a few friends recently pass away and like I hadn't heard from them in years and that when I read that when I was reading that and reading this card I immediately thought oh okay so maybe that could happen to you that somebody that you haven't talked to in a really long time might pop up not gen not necessarily that they died, but they might just be like, oh, wow, I haven't talked to that person in years. Uh, memories are important. Um, you might have, okay, it says memories are important, could need to reflect on past issues to help with, with new issues, evaluate and learn from past experience. Do not avoid current issues. So, if you're having issues either with your family or with work or what have you, you have to reflect on what you've already been through and what you've learned in, from past experiences to get you through this. Now, you didn't specify that you were having issues and from seeing you on Facebook, it just, I, I feel like there really isn't anything wrong, but... The cards are saying that there's some some things that are on the back burner that need to be dealt with. So the next card is it represents the final result, but I did do two clarification cards, so there's two other cards. Um, the fool is what I pulled for that. Sorry, it's not reversed. Um, new beginnings, excitement, risk, pending adventure, challenge, change in something, either your relationship, career, lifestyle, or location, like moving. Either way, you're moving onwards, um, or there might be that urge to improve. There's doubts and risk, bold conviction. Bold conviction is basically having that confidence that everything will work out okay, even if it doesn't look like it will. Um, but it says that right now is ripe for change. Like, whatever you either unconsciously or consciously or subconsciously have been feeling, like you've had this gut feeling that something needs to happen it talks about that it's it's right and it's okay to change okay so the two clarification cards clarification cards I don't know if most tarot card readers or psychics or whatever do clarification cards I do them um, to just do like a summary of everything that I got and to kind of like touch base on things that I might have missed in the reading now your reading was all over the place so <laughs> I don't know if any of it made sense if it does or didn't just let me know if it didn't I'll do another reading but um the first clarification I pulled for you is the lovers now, there's a couple different meanings to this card. <laughs> One of them I'm not too fond about. Now, if you see, this guy is having a hard time choosing between these two women. Now, when I saw that, I didn't know if it literally, maybe Paul, I know he's 
getting really big with his band and everything and maybe he's having all these kinds of offers i don't like throwing out negativity at all but that's what i got from this card not necessarily <laughs> could be true but but that's usually what that card means but there's also other meanings so um paths of vices and virtues vices and virtues um do you not get along with his mom maybe it talks about his mom um he might have it okay so the other meaning so if if it's not having to do with another person the other meaning consider options before making a choice so the other cards in the reading were talking about having to make a decision having to um, start a new beginning or move towards the unfamiliar away from the familiar starting a new adventure basically and that's this is another card so I don't know if there's some decisions that you've been trying to make or you and Paul have been trying to make but um, it's talking about considering options before making any choice. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Decide what's a desire or what's good for you. So there's a difference between what you want and what you need. And that's the kind of choice that needs to be made. Pros and cons great personal relevance for whatever the purpose of this choice is is going to be really important to your life so you got to pay attention to that so the next clarification card is the ace of wands energy passion creativeness excitement gifts from divine important new beginnings positive results um, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but there's a castle, and the castle represents, um, promise of potential realized, goals to aim for, new projects. So yeah, it sounds like a lot of things going on, even though it, when you asked for a reading, it didn't sound like you had too much going on, but this reading, um, was a huge mod podge of a bunch of different things, and I honestly <laughs> don't know how to make sense of it all um so maybe you can if you understand any of it um or if you can relate let me know um I would love to hear um some feedback from you um if it didn't make sense again this is probably the third time that I've mentioned this but if it doesn't make sense please just let me know and I'll try to redo it um I've been sick and Jude has been sick. I'm running on like three or four hours of sleep and I am about to go to bed. So, um, yeah, I love you and I hope you have a good night. Um, talk to you later.